Welcome back, people of Rome, to this episode 3 of the campaign playthrough by me, Noob Plays. Um, I'm glad you have returned for episode 3. I am having a huge amount of fun uh, playing Rome 2, even though it is, you know, quite an old game, it's still quite a challenging one. Uh, what I've learned so far, this game has a huge learning curve. You know, I played Rome 1, uh, and I was reasonably quite good at that. But this is massively different. The campaign, the map, the strategies, it's a lot more refined. So let's get, delve straight straight into episode number 3, where I have to take over Salernum. So according to this, they are much stronger than what we are, which sounds really bad. Sounds like I don't actually want to, to do this battle. Uh, I have to assault it. I don't have the option to retreat or to auto-resolve. They've got quite a few... Oh, this is interesting. So. Is that the main force? And then these are reinforcements. Oh, these guys come... Oh, okay, so these guys look like they come from the water. I don't know. I don't see how this plays out. This quite, looks quite interesting. So they've got 920 men. That must be these guys. And they've got 1,120 reinforcements, which I guess are these two sets of units here. So... I'm presuming if I defeat him quite quickly and take over the, the center of the settlement that I won't have to fight his reinforcements. Anyway, let's delve in to the first siege battle. Alright, so I'm thinking that because in the previous episode he said that wet wet ground kind of sapped stamina from your troops, I'm, I, I think I want much better weather. So let's say, wait. That's foggy. Visibility is going to be quite low. Wait again. Dry, much better. So better for my men, better for me. So I can actually see what I'm doing. We gave battle, so we must show aggression. Wow, this just looks absolutely... <laughs> it's just beautiful, isn't it? Look at the sky. That looks real. Right, okay, so over here is the objective. So I presume I have to take over the center of the settlement, just like it was in the first Rome. Now, the buildings look like they're making like a wall, so... I think attacking from here probably isn't the best bet. It's quite narrow streets. Likewise, there's like a wall of buildings here. Bit of a narrow gap here. They'll probably just squash my men into the same area. And just kill them with spears and whatnot. This is the widest bit of land. So if I set my men up here and march them in here... It's like a really wide, expansive area. Probably better for me to to attack this side. So yeah, I'm going to attack on this side here. So let's... How do you... Here's where to select all the men in one go. Yes, there we go. So you press down... Was that shift? You press down shift. And it selects them all. So I'm going to place my Hestati on this side here. I'm going to place my Slingers just in front. My Horsemen. Now, I might place two on each flank. I, I know the water on this side is kind of stopping this flank, but I guess the reinforcement is going to come from there, so these guys might be quite good at shock and awe. I might play... I might place my general 
on this side as well. Who am I missing? My Italian swordsman. We place them just here in the bush. All right, start a battle. Come, soldiers, draw okay. your weapons. So I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attack straight away. So I'm going to bring my starty here. Just up front, slingers, because they're kind of already advancing, I'm going to bring my slingers a little bit further back. Ah, the reinforcements are there. So let's get these two units of equites and place them on this side to protect this flank from the reinforcements. Let's place these two units of equites on this side so we can kind of get a rear charge, hopefully, fingers crossed. My general... I'm going to place here to protect this gap here. And my Italian swordsman. Just there. Yeah. So automatically they brought the spears. But I do see the archers up here already undefended. So I might attack them quite quickly. Let's bring one unit over here. And the other unit here. Uh, so, the effect of being a noob, they've already attacked, <laughs> oh god, uh, they've already attacked my archers, so I, I think I need to start getting my men in formation before I move up my archers, so let's bring my general into play, bring my archers back, not my archers, sorry, my slingers, they're not doing it. Oh man, they move so fast. High threats. Ooh. Okay, so these guys move really, really quickly. I'm actually really surprised about how fast they came about. I am going to attack their archers here. They're coming around here. Let's put the Italian swordsman there. I guess... I'm just going to have to... fight my way out. Not a very good start. Let's bring these guys. Ah, uh, they've killed loads of them. Oh my god. Wow, I'm massively surprised about how quickly they came around. That was insane. Anyway, so this is going quite well. Those archers have kind of retreated back. I might bring my equites, this, this unit of equites, over to... I'm going to keep them, I'm going to bring them over here and attack this section here. Alright, let's have a quick look. This is not going very well. This game is a lot harder than what I was anticipating. Right, so they are massively overwhelmed. I'm going to bring my equites over here to attack the archers. Are they archers or slingers? The skirmishers before they can get involved. I'm going to bring these two units up the rear. My general is going to knock back. And he is going to help my Italian swordsman. That was a good... That was good. So they are wavering. Melee cavalry to go to the levy, uh, levy skirmishes over here before they get involved. That's going alright. I'm going to move these up a little bit. I'm going to start blocking the next unit to coming up. Ooh, I forgot about these guys. 
Wow, so much to uh, to remember. Lost so many horsemen then. Okay, so these equites. I'm gonna charge into the back of these units. They're going to stop the advancement. And then my Italian swordsmen over here. That seemed to go well over here. Let's bring the slingers over here. And these slingers, that's not many left, but bring them over here. Man, that was that was brutal. Okay, who have we got? Man, there's so much to think about. These are just gonna sit there pummeling my guys all that time. Oh yeah, but we're not doing, I mean, we're not doing very well, but we're not doing horrific either. Let's bring them closer to the wall. Let's bring them here, let's charge them in. Let's bring them over here. Let's make a defensive wall again. Okay, I'm going to bring these guys up to attack the Levy Slingers, the Levy Skirmishers. Man. These guys are brutally good. I might bring them to finish them off. Okay, I'm gonna bring these in the, the rear. Where's my general? The general's gonna attack those levy skirmishers. Okay, I want to get through these gaps here. Let's bring them on the flank. Did they scare them off? Yes, they have retreated. Okay, I'm going to march them right down. They're running off. Okay, let's bring them up the side. Let's attack them on the side, they're hitting them on the side. I might move my equities out. They... These are starty. I think we're doing alright. Oh, man. That was high octane. That was a lot harder than what I thought it was going to be. Let's move them over, try and take over the, the capture point. I think I've won. Oh, I'm exhausted. Man, this game's going to be brutal. Proconsul Gaius Fulvius Silanus, your campaign against the Samnites has been so impressive. It's I am surprised. genuinely sweating. My palms are really, really sweating. I'm sure lots of you are watching that, thinking, "Oh, look at all the mistakes he's making." But when, when you're fresh to a game that you are not well versed in, it can be pretty brutal. It's unforgiving, and the amount of guys I just lost is insane. Let's tick that box. You gain experience from your victories, Silanus. Be sure to make use of your newfound wisdom. All right, so I, I've ranked up apparently. Hmm. So I've got a new skill. Warrior. Strategist. And what was the last one? Ooh. And commander. One authority, one cunning, one zeal. What's the difference? A 
Let's see what is further down. Great leader, master tactician, fearless warrior. I might go for the commander. Yeah. Take time to manage your person, Silanus, and those who serve under you. The plebs will rally behind leaders of high standing. Yeah, I thought I'd go for commander just because. Um, it looks like Rome's I'm going to be having to do lots and lots of different war. things throughout this little Taxes campaign. Raised, Commander just seems best. Neglected. There has been unrest, and matters have come to a head. A revolt is underway. It must be quelled by a show of force. Ah, uh, rebels! The rebels come. So what's it asking me to do? It is clear that public order is low. The plebs will need to be appeased. Before they can be offered the carrot, however, they must be shown the stick. Destroy the rebel army. Oh, okay, so this is similar to what was in Rome 1. It's just on a bit of a smaller screen. So public order is really bad. Pretty poor at the moment. Culture's 100%. Because we have these rebels over here. Moving troops away from the front line is problematic. It will leave Salernum wide open to attack. Another army must be raised. A new commander must be appointed. So it, I guess this is how you create a new army. So looking at... Is there any more way to get any information about these men? Influence, N minus 15 on seven senators, minus 10 on senators, other houses, doesn't really tell you much about, he's a politician, he's a candidate, 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 hmm, anyway, I don't think it really matters, early on in game, I don't think it really matters who I choose, recruit, an excellent choice, this man can guard the home front and marshal any garrisons that the rebels may attack. Alright, so the army still come from the settlements, but you can recruit as you're moving around. That's pretty good. Is should the I get now request a demonstration of the authority for which you are so acclaimed, Silanus? At times I will interject with advice, but from here, you must take the lead. That's good, because I was getting a little bit annoyed with him in my ear, to be honest with you. So, technology. So, I'm noticing over here we've got more things that we can choose. We've got land management. What do I want? Well, I mean, it looks like I am defending and attacking quite regularly. So, I think I want to do te uh, military technology to begin with. I think I might choose something to do with men. So they so the men are better equipped, they regenerate faster. Their horses, I might go with the men. Three turns. How do I forgotten how to recruit more men now? Recruit. The start here are pretty shocking, aren't they? It is of obvious benefit to build forces rapidly in times of war. Our barracks are large enough to train multiple units at once. <laughs> okay, so I might recruit two of them just to begin with. Let's get rid of him. Let's see what we can do in this settlement over here. Salernum. So I have... Oh, here's the money. So I've got 30,035. Eight food? Right, okay, so... So food is obviously a currency. So I wonder if there's a way to get more food. What's this? Expand city on the developed land? So 
It's not letting me... Okay, so... What should I build? Nothing, apparently. In turn. Battle is upon us, Commander, but do not grow weary. You need not oversee every skirmish in person. Okay, so this is teaching me about auto resolve. That is fine. High chance to win. Now, this is interesting. So you can choose a different stance. So I can either be really aggressive, balanced. When using the balance, balance stance, units will receive no bonuses or penalties. So defensive, it says expect lower casualties on both sides. This says it's best to do this when you have got uh, missile superiority, which I don't. I could go with aggressive, but we're not that much better in strength, so I'll probably go with balanced. Oh, what a great animation. That dude is dead. And everyone was killed. What you do with the captured men is up to you. As slaves, they will fetch a handsome price. But the message sent by either clemency or brutality can be worth more. All right, so I can either let them all go, enslave them, or kill them. I'm probably going to enslave them. With the rebels crushed, the rule of law in Rome now goes unquestioned. Silanus, despite your military background. It is time for you to take a full interest in civic affairs. Okay. This is where I become a politician, I suppose. We have concealed matters of state from you until now, but you will appreciate that military successes can only be built on civil foundations. True. The wheels of war are turned by money. A sound economy and thriving populace will fuel our ambitions of conquest. Wow. Okay, so this is really quite in depth. There's a lot to learn, isn't there? Oh, these horses look nice. Okay, so tax level. This is set the tax level to a more balanced rate. While overtaxation brings its own problems, it is equally important to keep a positive balance sheet. This war cannot be won without money coming in. Okay, so taxes here. Let's do tax balance. Normal at 30. Excellent. With matters settled at home, attention can turn to the Samnites once again. The Senate have decreed that they must not be allowed to threaten Rome again. Consul Rutilus must be recovered. Bovianum must fall. Alright, so get loads of money for destroying the people, the Samnites. And I presume... The Samnites will be fortifying the mountain passes inland from Salerno. Got to come down here. But Buxentum to the south is relatively undefended. Some Lucanian exiles are offering a substantial reward if we retake the city for Rome. To achieve surprise, however, we should invade by sea. Alright, so invade by sea. Buxenton. So I guess I'm going to develop that from Salernum, sail around here and attack Buxenton. I wonder how I recruit a navy. Race forces. I can't. Speak your mind. Can I just move them onto the ocean? Just, oh look, I just moved them onto the ocean, so I don't actually need a navy. Oh, that makes moving around a lot easier. Shall I raise some more? How do I recruit then? Did I just bring the whole army? I just brought the whole army. You know, all the money in the world says someone else is going to come from the ocean and take back Salernum. That would be really annoying if they do that. Silanus. Some Lucanian ships have raised the banner of Rome and stand ready to assist in the assault on Buxenton. Enlist their support. It is an honor to oh, that's cool. Rome. Don't mind if I do. Excellent. 
With proper fighting ships, we can launch an invasion from the sea where we please. So here it says attacking on land is good is a good option if the naval garrison is strong. How do you know if the naval yes, garrison is we'll strong? Gain experience as they fight, Commander, but we'll also take casualties. Be sure to monitor the health of your army and deploy or rest the men as necessary. Man, there's so much to remember. Why did he just say that? Are my men not well? I'm going to bring them into Villatre because they said that they would attack coming up here. I might bring him down to Salernum. Can I get through here? No. Okay, Roma. Four food. So they cost the same. That's four food, and this is... Aha, here is the tree. So right-clicking on the icon shows you the technology tree. So they're pretty similar. That provides you with 6 food and 40 wealth. That provides you with 4 food and 80 wealth. That's 200 wealth from livestock. It looks like herding ground looks a bit better. For long, the long game. But this provides you with more food. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the farm. Just because I want more food. Now, this is really interesting. It's a lot more complex than the first one. I know I keep saying that, but the learning curve is insane. Let's develop the ports. So each one provides with a garrison. This has got the most ba garrison. 70 wealth from manufacturing, 10 wealth from maritime commerce, 120 from commerce, 40, 6 food. This, that provides no food. That provides no food. This provides 6 food. Let's go with the fish. I feel like I need food quite early on in the game. And Salernum. I could grow a farm. Ah, uh, so... Let's... So what's this then? Roman Hamlets. So that's just a straight upgrade. So don't have to worry about that just for now. For the construction site, I'm going to produce a farm. To get more food. I'm going to move my army closer to Buxington. How do you know if it's got a good naval base? Not too sure. Maybe if we get closer, we'll find out. Salernum. Okay, that has been developed. So I could get weapon proficiency, or I could get the manipular organization. Don't have to worry about siege equipment at the moment just yet because I'm doing more defending. So here, down at the bottom left, it says you get 25% more ammunition. And I can get rank 1 champions, all provinces, I'll probably develop that. My... Army over here, I'm going to bring over to help defend Salernum. And as I'm moving, I am going to... Recruit more men. 
I've got a really bad feeling we're gonna lose to Lernum. So it looks like they've got one of 20, not too worried about that. End turn. Uh, they just brought loads of men. So I have six turns until we will surrender, but there is nothing for me to do. All right, so I've got a feeling that I'm going to lose this battle, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, but thank you very much for joining this episode. I know it's a big learning curve for a noob to, to take on such a huge game like Rome Total War 2. Um, but join me in the next episode where I will be defending, probably, and dis getting absolutely wiped out in episode number three. See you in the next episode.